Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Vinoy here for our fitness karate class. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. If you have never done one of these before, just do your best to follow along. If you're here for second, third, fourth time you've done this already, great. Welcome back. We're going to start off with a warm up. We're going to alternate between different exercises. It's going to be running in place and then another exercise. Running in place and then another exercise. On your marks, get set, and go. with the snap, crackle, pop of my joints. I'm just getting up, just getting moving. On your back, zombie sit-ups. Legs out in front, arms out in front. All the way down, all the way up, trying to reach for your toes. And back to line. Push-ups, just regular little push-ups. Go. Keep running. Time. Squat, shuffle, squat, and then shuffle to the side. Squat, shuffle back. Time back to running in place. On your backs, Russian twists. Legs off the ground is a little harder, legs on the ground is a little easier. Twist back and forth. Try and engage your core. And time back up to running. For this round, it's gonna be butt kickers. Bring your feet up behind you to kick yourself in the butt. Two more minutes for our warm up. Down for push-up position. This time push up and reach. 
Push up. One hand reaches the ceiling. Push up. And the other hand. Wake up those muscles. I don't know about you guys doing this recorded version, but 7 a.m. right now. I'm gonna be honest, I'm still a little bit asleep. What can I wake it up? Back up to running this time. High knees, bring your knees up high. Last minute for the warm up. And time. This time, squat and hop. Squat and hop. Last 30 seconds. Stretch just a little bit. Have a seat, legs apart. While we catch our breath, reach up and down to your left side. Switch, other side. Legs apart a little bit wider. And reach down to the middle. And relax, pull it in, butterfly stretch, feet together, use your elbows to push your knees down. And then bring your chest down to your feet. Legs out in front, reach up, and down to your toes. Put one leg over top and then twist that direction. Use your elbow pushing into your knee to help you twist. Other direction. And relax. Stand back up nice and slow, shake it out. And we'll get into our combinations. Okay. 
Okay, so last time we on Monday, we were working advancing techniques. Today, we're also going to work retreating techniques as well. So we're going to start focusing on the backhand punch as we retreat. And then we're going to follow up with a hook after that. So my back foot is moving first when I retreat. My front foot is moving first when I advance. That way I always stay in the same fighting stance, whether I'm advancing or retreating. When I move forward, my front hand punches first. When I move backwards, my back hand punches first. So we're just gonna do that advanced retreat, real simple. It's gonna be jab, cross as we advance, cross, hook as we retreat. Jab, cross, cross, hook. Remember, front hand first when we advance, back hand first when we retreat. Jab, cross, cross, hook. Moving forward and backwards. Here we go, on your marks. Get set, and go. Real simple, front hand when you advance, back hand when you retreat. Jab, cross, cross, hook. Try and time your hands and feet together. Find the rhythm. Halfway, switch your feet. Other foot in front means the other hand is punching first. Remember, front hand first when you advance, back hand first when you retreat. And time. Okay, we have a minute between each round. Feel free to just bounce in place, do some jumping jacks, run in place, whatever. If you can, keep yourself moving just a little bit between rounds. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain the next combination. We're still gonna use our jab cross to advance, but this time to retreat, we're doing a front leg front kick, put it in back, and then we're doing hook, upper, and hook. Notice I actually switched my feet on this one. So if you want to, for the whole two minutes, you can just alternate sides. I jab cross to advance, I front kick with my front foot, and then put it behind you. So I just switch my feet, and then I do hook, upper, and hook. Jab cross to advance, front kick, hook, upper, hook. Jab cross to advance, front kick, hook, upper, and hook. The tricky part is probably gonna be switching your feet every time. Just do your best. Here we go, three, two, one and go. Jab cross to advance, front kick, hook, upper, hook to retreat. This time I'm always hitting with my front hand first, but it's changing back and forth. to back up into your table. Halfway, we should be switching sides already.
and time. Okay, well, if you can, just stay moving a little bit, even if you're bouncing a little bit, moving around, try and keep your body in motion. Okay, next combination. Again, we're using the same combo to advance. It's just gonna be jab, cross to advance. This time to retreat, we're doing cross, hook, cross, and back leg round kick. So kind of adding on to our first combo. Jab, cross to advance, cross, hook, cross, and back leg round kick to retreat. After I kick, it goes right back behind me, so I'm staying on the same side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Jab, cross, cross, hook, cross, and round kick. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Get ready, 10 seconds. And go. Jab, cross, cross, hook, cross, and round kick. Halfway, other side now. Time. Okay, next combination we're gonna throw a new kick and we're gonna do our spinning back kick. Now, if you're having trouble with this kick and you wanna just do a side kick, that's fine too. So for the spin back kick, my back leg is kicking. I'm gonna to turn towards my back leg. I'm gonna look over my back shoulder and then kick with my back leg. So my right leg is back. I turn towards my right, look over my right shoulder and kick straight back with my right leg. So the spin back kick looks like this. And then we'll reset back to where we start. So the combination, again, advancing with jab cross. Then we're gonna slide back with no technique. Spin back kick, put it back where it was, and then cross, upper cross to finish. Jab cross to advance, slide back, spin back kick, cross, upper, and cross. We're getting close for the jab cross. Get back away from them as they come towards you. You hit them with the back kick and then cross, upper, cross. Ready, set, and go. Jab, cross, slide back, back kick, cross, upper, cross.
Halfway there. Other side now. Jab cross, slide back, spin back, kick with your back leg, put all the way back, cross, upper, and cross. Okay, shake it out, get loose. We're gonna try and incorporate that back kick one more time. So if you had trouble, this is your chance to try again. Remember for that spin back kick. My back leg is kicking in this case, it's my left leg. So I turn towards my left. I look over my left shoulder and then I kick backwards with my left foot. Okay, so it's gonna be the same back kick again. This time the combo is gonna be a little bit different. We're still advancing with jab cross, keeping that part simple. Then before we retreat, we're going to do our spin back kick, and then to retreat, we're going to do our cross, jab, cross. So just mix up the order a little bit. Jab, cross to advance, spin back kick, and then immediately retreat, cross, jab, and cross. One, two, three, four, five, six. The tricky part is getting that back kick reset. I jab, cross to advance. I back kick, I pull it right back to its stern, and then immediately retreat three straight punches. Ready, set, and go. Jab cross, back kick, retreat, cross, jab, cross. Halfway, other side. Ten seconds. And time. Well done. All right, we got one more round and then some conditioning to do. Last round, we're going to change it up a little bit. This time, you're going to need as much space as you can get. Now, obviously, some of you guys have more space than others. Just do the best with what you got. But I'm going to start all the way this way all the way forward to the combination. And the combination is gonna be simple, jab, cross, hook, back leg round kick. Jab, cross, hook, back leg round kick. You're just gonna keep repeating the same combo. When I say retreat, it's time to get out of there. You are then going to back up as fast as you can, as far as you can without running into anything. And then you're gonna just do the combination from back here. Jab, cross, hook, back leg round kick. When I say advance, then we get in as fast as we can, as far as we can, and then we're doing the combination from up here. So it's the same combo the whole time, jab, cross, hook, 
When I say retreat, you back up far. When I say advance, you advance far. Time to make it quick. Here we go. Start, advance, go. Jam, cross, hook, round kick. Jam, cross, hook, round kick. Retreat. Advance. Retreat. Advance. If I catch you in the middle of a combination, just abort the combo and continue to advance or retreat. And then you can get back to it once you're there. Retreat. Advance. Switch your feet, other side. Retreat. Advance. Retreat. Advance. Retreat. Almost there, 10 seconds. Advance. Oh my goodness, I have a horde of people on Zoom chasing after me. Retreat. Advance. And time. Well done, everybody. Okay, we want to finish off with a Tabata for our conditioning today. Who likes ab workouts? I do. So, we're going to work abs. It's going to be Tabata, which means four different exercises. We're going to do each one for 20 seconds and then rest for 10. 20 seconds, rest for 10. After the first four exercises, then we repeat the same four exercises one more time. So four minutes of abs, and then we're done for the day. Starting off, first exercise is going to be mountain climb. So from the push-up position, one knee up and the other knee up. Try and keep your body flat. Try and keep your eyes full. We're going to do that for 20 seconds. The exercise after that is going to be crunches. So my legs are off the ground. I'm picking my shoulders and chest up towards my knees. 20 seconds of crunches. After crunches, it's gonna be back over in low plank position. Body flat on my, on my elbows and forearms. And then after that, last exercise is gonna be on your back. Scissor kicks up and down. Keep them straight, keep them off the ground. Okay, I'll remind you guys as we go along. Starting off with mountain climbers. On your marks, get set, and climb. Bring those knees up high. And time on your back. 10 second rest, and then next up is crunches. Ready, set, and crunch. And time. Next up, low plank. Ready, set, and plank. And time. On your back for scissor kicks. Last exercise, and then we'll repeat one more time. 
Scissor kicks, go. Keep them straight, keep them off the ground. And time. Okay, now we'll repeat the same four exercises one last time. Mountain climbers, ready, set, and climb. Keep your eyes up, body flat. And time. Okay, my abs are starting to feel it. Next up, crunches. Ready, set, and crunch. And time. Whew. All right, next up, plank. Ready, set, and plank. This is the easy part, right? All you gotta do is sit still. No problem, piece of cake. Almost there. In time, on your backs, last 20 seconds, scissor kicks. On your marks, get set, and kick. Up and down, swing those legs. 10 seconds. And time. Whew. And that's it. We're done. Well done, everybody. Let's finish off attention. Bow. That's how we say thank you. Right hand up. Hana tool set. Tongue soup. Good work, everybody.